A couple of weeks ago, the Home Secretary was asked a question by Tim Lawton in a select committee. Tim Lawton said if he were a 16-year-old African seeking uh, asylum in the UK, how would he be able to get to the UK? And he pointed out that there are no um, available routes to the UK from uh, Africa. Um, and uh, Suella Bradman confirmed that travelling by dinghy across the channel would be um, a perfectly possible, even legitimate route, although it is an illegal route. I mean, the, the level of inconsistency in this is extraordinary. And the look of the Home Secretary, uh, like a rabbit caught in the headlights, was quite extraordinary. 23rd of November, check it out, because I think that is going to be a decisive interview which is going to determine everything that happens from now on. Now, Natalie Elphick, two weeks later or more, the government has had time to work out what its response should be to that question. And on Channel 4, the same question was posed. Natalie Elphick, again, doesn't have an answer. She started babbling about the fact that there are legitimate routes for asylum seekers. She doesn't know what she's talking about. There are very few legitimate routes for asylum seekers, and even those that exist are not efficacious. Because if they were, then we wouldn't find Afghans taking a dinghy across the English Channel. There are two things that the government needs to do at this moment. Number one, to provide proper safe routes. Number two, to provide information to people so that they know those safe routes exist. Those two jobs need to be done. They've needed to be done for a long time. It is only a stupid and insensitive government that fails to do what is so blindingly obvious. Then I would suggest there are other things that a government that wants to sort this out could do. So this goes with Brexit. A lot of the, a lot of the problems with the Channel Crossing are a result of a failure to put an asylum processing centre in France. So we have invited people to cross the Channel. We, in our stupidity, have encouraged these smuggling operations. Smuggling is always going to go on. But by citing, by citing the asylum centres on the British side of the channel, we offer no alternative. As indeed, Suella Bravman faced on the 23rd of November, when she was caught herself in the headlights. And she knew there was no alternative explanation because she's a lawyer, because she's been there, because this was her job before she became Home Secretary, before she entered Parliament. She gave advice about asylum. She knows. And this sort of act of stupidity and pause and stuttering is an act. And Suella Braverman has a choice. Either she looks stupid or she looks evil, or both. Natalie Elphick, I think, is not evil. Natalie Elphick, I think, frankly, is stupid. And the government, frankly, is absurd if it hasn't taken the, these last two weeks to brief the, uh, the MP who represents that area with something that it wants them to say. What utter stupidity, what utter crass insensitivity. If I had been an MP for Dover, I would have offered my resignation on the spot for not having received a briefing from the Home Secretary. It all comes down to the Home Secretary's inanity and uh, lack of sensitivity, not only for those people who are risking their lives um, trying to 
claim asylum in our country, for those people who are risking their lives trying to um, rescue and protect people who are trying to cross the channel, but also for those people who are placed in a position where they have to answer questions on national television. And these questions are utterly, utterly predictable. So it comes down once again to the fact that we have a minister in the Home Office who isn't capable of doing her job.